Shalom. <clears throat> Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha, Quadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham, as in the name, and Racha Quadash is the Holy Spirit. Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And the title of this video, Lord Willing, is going to be Drunk Off Wine. All right, because that's how these people are. They're drunk off the wine of, of America, man. All right, and that wine is not literal wine. All right, it's going it's going into these different philosophies, man. Okay, so our people uh, are, are are drunk off the wine of uh, of America, man. All right, and really all these people, man. All right, it says in Revelation that all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Okay, uh, let me actually start at Jeremiah fifty. That pretty much sums it up right there. Jeremiah fifty one and seven. It says uh, Babylon, all right, which is America have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. You see, it says that made all the earth drunken. So everybody is drunk off the wine of Babylon the Great, man. The influence of Babylon has gone throughout the four corners of the earth. Everybody is in, uh, is in bed with America, man. Okay, it says the nations have drunken of our wine, therefore the nations are mad. All right, so Elam, Moab, Ammon, okay, these East Indians, all right, which is Elam, all right, Moab, the Chinese, so called Chinese, Ammon, the so called Japanese, so on and so forth. All these nations have drunk on drunken of the wine of America, man. All right, that's why all these, these different uh nations they come over to America and they do what they follow the ways of America. All right, they, they, they become sodomized. They become disobedient to their husbands. All right, they wear pants. All right, they're not modest. Speaking of the women, okay? The men, all right, they become effeminate. They line up their hair, all right? <laughs> they do everything that, that these uh, that these Babylonians do, man. All right, why? Because um, uh, these nations have drunken the wine of, of her fornication, man. All right, they have drunken the, the philosophies of of America. They they come over here, they celebrate their birthdays. All right. You know, they celebrate all these pagan holidays, man. All right. So everybody everybody is drunk off the wine of America, man. Okay. And that's going to ultimately lead to your uh to your destruction, to your downfall. This is uh Job chapter twelve. I'm gonna start at verse twenty three. It says, uh he increaseth the nations, speaking of the heavenly father, and destroyeth them. He enlargeth the nations and straighteneth them again. All right. Hey, so the Lord, he he's the one that's in, in, in control of building up these different nations. And then, then then he does what? He destroys them. OK, just like the Lord, he's he uh, he brought up Esau. You know, man, what he's going to do to him? He's going to destroy them, man. All right. They're going to be put into captivity. Then after a thousand years of slavery, they're going to be uh, completely eradicated, man. All right, going into them being that uh, that cursed nation, man. All right, the only neighbor of the Israelites that that will not receive mercy from Yahweh Shemuel All right, verse twenty four says, "He taketh away the heart of the chief of the earth, and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way." All right, so the Lord He strips understanding, all right, from these different nations, man. Okay. All right, and the Lord, he stripped understanding from us. The Lord, he stripped understanding from us, okay? You know, but he's He's giving it back unto us, man. All right, starting with his elect, okay? It says, they grope in the dark without light, and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man, man. And that's how these other nations are, and that's how our people are, man. All right, they they're, they're, they're st they stagger, but not with strong drink, all right? They, they stagger spiritually, you know, and we had a guy that came up uh, to our camp 
you know, heavy Christian, he heavy Christian, man. And um, I looked up the, the definition for the word uh, drunk. It says uh, affected by alcohol to the extent of losing control of one's faculties or behavior. And I woke up, I looked up the word faculties and it says uh, powers or properties of one of one's mind. You see, you know, so these people, they they these people have lost their mind when somebody's drunk. You know, they don't really know what's going on. All right. And that's how these people are spiritually. They don't know what's going on. All right. That's why the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night to these people, man. All right. Because they don't understand what's going on. All right. You could tell a drunk person something. All right. Over and over again. He's not going to he's not going to get you. All right. And that's how these people are when we tell them that only Israel can be saved. All right. Starting with the elect of the, of the nation of Israel at that. But only the nation of Israel can be saved. These people, it don't matter how many banger precepts you bring out. They don't get it, man. All right, because that's because they're they're too drunk off the wine of America. You can't talk to a person that's drunk, man. Somebody that's drunk after a while, you're like, hey, hey, uh, come back when you sober up, okay? And, and you know, and and the Lord is controlling these people because the scripture says that the deceived and the deceiver are His. So the Lord is putting it in their mind to be uh, to be uh, slumbered. So really, hey, they got to come back once they. Once the Lord has put it in their spirit, you know, that, hey, we are Israelites, all right? The Lord, he's only for the so-called black Spans and Native Americans, man. You can only get to somebody, you know, that's uh, that's willing to listen, you know, but somebody that's so drunk off the wine of America, off the philosophies of America, God loves everybody, you know, uh, uh, so-called Jesus, all right? Jesus loves everybody. It's all love. You know, those type of philosophies, man. All right. Somebody that's drunk off those type of philosophies, man, they'll never be able to understand this truth. All right. They'll never be never be able to understand Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay. And it says, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the point off the uh, definitions. Um, but let me get the other precepts that I had here. I'm going to stay in the book of Job and grab this Job 12 and, in var, and verse uh, 16. It says, with him, all right, speaking of the Lord, with him is, is strength and wisdom, the deceived and the deceiver are his. So it's the Lord that's, uh, that's blinding these people, man. Okay. It's the Lord that's blocking your mind. It's the Lord that doesn't want you to understand this, all right? Because it's the Lord that makes you understand this truth, and it's the Lord that's going to block you from understanding this truth, man. All right? I'm going to read that in NLT, Job 12 and 16. Yes, strength and wisdom are his. Deceivers and deceived are both in his power. So the Lord is controlling that, man. All right? And let me grab this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29. And verse 9 says, stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink, man. They're staggering off the philosophies of this place, man. All right. The philosophies of America can make you can make you bugged out, man. And that's what these people are. These people are bugged out off the wine of, of the wine of Babylon, man. And I'm going to read that in the NLT. Isaiah 29 and 9, are you amazed and, and, incredu and incredulous? Don't you believe it? Then go ahead and, and, and be blind. You are stupid, but not from wine. You stagger, but not from liquor, man. Whoo. <laughs> See, people, hey, the scripture says that our people are sodden children, man. All right. Our people are stupid, man. All right. But not stupid because of the wine. All right. Because of SS drugs either. All right, but they're dumb off the philosophies of America, man. America is feeding them straight trash through the spirit, man. All right, and it's tainting, it's tainting their spirit, man. All right, not only does America feed you trash food, but they 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 feed you trash uh, philosophies, man. Okay, so this place is like a it's like a double edged sword, man. It it kill you physically and spiritually, man. Isaiah twenty nine and ten. 
back in the uh, KJV, it says, For the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah Shai, have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered, man. You see, the Lord, the Lord is blinding these people, man. All right, close your eyes, man. All right, so these that's why you have fal false prophets out here. All right, you have false pastors, okay? All right, but the Lord, he's waking up, all right, his uh, his his elect, man. All right, he reveals his secrets un unto who? His servants, the prophets. So the Lord, yeah, he has false prophets out here, but to, to balance it out, he has the true prophets out here, man. All right? Your eyes shall see thy teachers, man. I will give them uh I give them I will give them a heart according to mine heart. Alright. Let me grab that here. This is uh, Jeremiah three and fifteen, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right, see, pastors according to mine heart. And those are the true prophets of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, man, whether you can see it or not. All right. And uh, let me go back to Isaiah 29 and verse 11. It says, the vi And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned, man. All right, hey, but that's all. We, that's why we have Yahweh Shai. When you read Revelation, the fifth chapter, he he unloosed the seals, all right, which is the different mysteries of the of the uh, of the gospel, man. All right, it says in Colossians uh, one. Let me grab that real quick. Colossians 1 and 29. Colossians 1 and 26, it says, Even the mystery which have been hid from, from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, man. You see? It says, To whom God will make it known what is the riches of the glory of his mystery among the Gentiles, which is a Mashiach in you, the hope of glory. All right? You know, so the Lord, he's revealing his secrets uh, to the service of the prophets, the the uh, these mystery the mysteries which have been hidden from ages and generations is now being made for, and manifest to the saints and the saints are the Israelites, all right, according to the covenant, man, all right, and that's starting with the elect, man. The Lord is revealing His secrets unto His elect, and um, this is uh, yeah, that was the point on that. Um, let me read this. This is Isaiah. Uh, 51 Isaiah 51 starting at verse 20 it says thy sons have fainted they lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net they are full of the fury of the Lord Yahweh the rebuke of thy power and you see and that's and that's how people do all right they're always hanging out on the street corners being niggas and all right, that's also the wine of America, man. Being a thug, man. Sagging a pants, smoking weed, having dreadlocks, standing on a quarter, corner, slanging crack cocaine, slanging meth, fitting all. All right, that's that's that that's nigga culture, man. And that's one of the one of the many philosophies of America that's going to lead you to being destroyed, man. All right, it says, therefore, hear now this. Thou afflicted, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. You see, our people are drunk off the philosophies of America, man. You see? And it says here, verse 22, Thus saith the Lord, it says, Thus saith thy Lord, Yahweh, and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have... Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the cup, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt not, thou shalt no more drink it again. You see, and the Lord, he's leading us 
uh, out of the way of, of of captivity, man. And the Lord said He's not going to uh, no longer uh, lead us into captivity again, man. All right. It says, "Thou shalt no more drink it again, man." All right. So we're drinking the dregs now. All right. Well, the slavery. Okay, being a proverb and a byword. All right, but the Lord, He's 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 raising He's raising up 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 out of that, man. It says, "But I will put it into the hand of them that afflicted thee." All right, who who has afflicted us? All right, East, starting with mainly Esau, Edom, man. These other nations as well, but Esau, Edom, man. Okay, and this is really going going back to uh, Deuteronomy thirty and seven as well. You see, I will put it I will put it in the into the hand of them that afflict thee. All right, so these other nations, they're going to go into captivity, man. They're going to have to drink the wine. Well, so like, yeah. <laughs> they're going to have to uh, drink of the dregs of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right, the cup of slavery. All right, hey, this this cup too shall pass unto thee. All right, that's speaking of Esau, you know, in the book of Lamentations. All right, but all these other nations, they're going to drink of that cup. It says, which I have said to thy soul, bow down that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. All right. These people have walked all over us, man. All right. You know, and literally, you know, using us as footstools, man. All right. But, hey, it's going to be a complete role reversal, man. All right. You know, but really the point was at 21, but I want to read down. All right. Hey, our people are drunken, but not with wine, man, with the philosophies of America, man. The, the ways of America can really bug you out, man. All right. So I just wanted to uh, really just touch on that. All right. Drunk off the wine. All right. The wine of philosophies, man. So uh, I just wanted to close with that. And give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. And to the next lesson, I say Shalom and Ababa Shalom.